I'm Alex Johnson, field agronomist with Bex Hybrids here in Ohio. Today we're near Sydney, Ohio. I'm with Farmers Alliance salesman Kevin Barnes, uh, Bex Hybrids dealer, and also with Jason Franham, uh, Bex customer here in the Sydney area. Jason, what are we looking at today? Oh, uh, we got a test of uh, Olivo beans and uh, non Olivo beans. These are 366s. Jason, tell me, why were you interested in testing? Olivo in this field this year? Uh, we always have some SDS show up, but uh, I've got some river bottom ground that I'd like to see just how it works and if it would be feasible to use it in the future. So Jason's had sudden death syndrome and soybeans in the past. In this field, we're on 30 inch rows and we have a comparison here. On this side of the field, just regular Escalate seed treatment, which does not control sudden death syndrome. Then Jason cleaned out the planter and filled up with 366 L4s with the treatment on them, the Elevo seed treatment, which controls nematodes as well as sudden death syndrome. So where's that split at here, guys? So we got my drone out here a little bit ago. We got her up and we don't see a distinct line in the field. Here on this higher part of the field is where we do see some difference from this side to this side. Um, but this is a part of a field where you normally see sudden death show up here on the higher parts uh, or any part of the field that has more compaction or cooler, wetter conditions. Kevin, tell us a little bit about some of the differences we're seeing out here. Well, it appears that the non-treated has more sudden death and a lot more of the soybean leaves are off of the plant compared to where the Olivo is. And we're also thinking that we're seeing a little bit of height difference that the Olivo treatment's a little bit taller soybean than what the non-treated is. All right, Kevin. Now, when did you start seeing differences show up and how much of the field, things like that? Probably three weeks ago, uh, Jason and I and a few others was out here looking at them and uh, the majority of the field down at the other end of this field had hardly any sudden death in it, but down at this end on the side of this hill, we could see some definite signs of sudden death showing up. Um, we could see a lot uh, more of a variance then than we can now since the beans are starting to mature and turn yellow. Now we have other field comparisons I've looked at in other parts of Ohio where we're not seeing sudden death syndrome and so we don't expect a huge advantage from the treatment but we'll see what kind of yield differences we see this fall. We thank you guys for watching today.